this uh, first question since the question is on the ratios and proportions you know. when you're talking about ratios you're talking about uh, you know, ratios in proportions so you're talking about uh, a kind of divisions between two quantities trying to compare the amount or how great they have so it said Rosie and Jim share some sweets in the ratio of five to seven. So if Jim gets twelve sweets more than Rosie, work out the number of sweets that Rosie gets. So from the uh, solution, we have Rosie to Jim as five ratio seven. Then from the information, we have Jim equal to Rosie plus twelve. That is twelve more than whatever Rosie got. So Jim from the ratio is seven out of the total of twelve. The you know, 12 ratio times the total suites that will give us 70 over 12. And Rosie, the ratio of Rosie is uh, 5, so because Rosie is the first person mentioned, 5 over 12 times the total will give us this. And we can see from this first statement that Jim is greater than Rosie. So Jim is greater than Rosie because Jim is to, uh, uh, Rosie plus 12. So that means we can find a difference between Jim, this is Jim, and this is Rosie. So the difference between these is going to be 12 based on the information given. So 70 over 12 minus 5t over 12 equal to 12. So with that, we can find t, make t the subject of the formula, or find t, solve for t. So we'll try to solve for t. We'll find the LCM, which is 12, then 7 minus 5t, and that's 2t. So 2t over 12 gives us 1t over 6 and equals to 12. So 6 times 12, when we cross multiply, 6 times 12 is 72, that's 72 sweets. So that means if we remove the extras, which are 12 sweets, if we remove it, we have 60. So 60 divided equally, that will be 30, 30. Then one person will get the extra 12. That will be 42 for the gym who got 12 more than. Or we go back to the ratio and say, gym, uh, Rosie gets 5 over 12 times 72, which is 30 sweets. And gym gets... 7 over 12 times 72, which is um, 42 sweets. And the difference, of course, is 12 sweets. So Rosie got uh, 30 sweets, while Jim get, got uh, 42 sweets. Okay, now we're looking at the second one. Can you, uh, do you understand that? Yes. Okay, good. Now, for the second one. Rahim is saving for a new bike which will cost 480 pounds. Rahim earns 1,500 per month. Okay. That is per month. We can talk about how much it's going to earn for two months or one year. Let's keep that in mind. Rahim spends his money on bills, uh, food, and the extras in the ratio 834. Okay. Food bill and uh, extras let me see bills food and extra so bills take the ratio eight food take the three and the extras take the four let's take note of that so if the money is spent on extra is spent 80 percent and put 20 percent into his savings account how long will it take Rahim to save for his new bike? Okay. The, the best thing to do for us is to look for how much he saves each month for the bike so that we know how many months it's going to take him to save that. So let's get started. I want you to please concentrate on this. So we we'll say he earns um, 1,500 pounds per month. Okay, so please make sure you're concentrating. Then, extras. What is spent of extra is what we're concentrating on now because the question says how from the extra he made the savings, then which is 20% of the extras. So, how much, I mean, how long is it going to take him to save for his nearby? So, so the extras now will be the ratio of extra which is 
over 8 plus 3 plus 4, the total ratio. 8 plus 3 is um, 11, 11 plus 4 is 15. So this is going to be times total. And the total here is 1,500 pounds. So this is easier to divide, okay? We have 15 here, 1. 15 here, 1. That's 100. So that means one, 4 times 100 gives us 400 pounds that he saves. I mean, that is the extra. First, from the extra, I save 20%. Let's find 20% of the extra. So 20% of 400 pounds. So that's going to be 20 over 100 times 400. And uh, this is going to be, let's see, 0 cut 0, another 0 cut 0. So 40 times 2 is 80 pounds. So 80 pounds is what is saved uh, in a month. So he saved, so he saves 80 pounds per month. So in two months, it will save times two. So how many months will it take him to raise the, uh, the money, which is 480 pounds? So that'll be 80 pounds times the number of months, the number of months, you know, n months, is gonna give us the total amount for the bike, which is 480 pounds. That means the number of months, which is how long, is going to, number of months, is gonna be 480 pounds divided by 80 pounds and with this we can say zero cancel zero and um, 48 over 8 is 6 so it's going to take him six months if he continues the same way now omit yourself and let me know if that is clear to you Yes, clear. Okay, so put down the question and the solution. Then after that, I will give you assignment.